Last year, Dennis Gage let us strip his truck with the dustless blaster. His production company was nice enough to give us all the footage recently, and we've decided to give you a behind the scenes look at this little project. We stripped Dennis's truck in his own lawn with a DB500 mobile with a 210 CFM compressor. Dennis Gage's Ford F-150 is simply a work truck, and he wanted to rhino line the whole thing. But before rhino lining it, he would need to blast all that gnarly paint and rust off. Zack goes to work on it, and the paint melts away like butter. Except melting implies that there's heat, which there's not. The, the water actually reduces friction and heat. So it's not melting away uh, at all. It's, it's just, it's, but it's coming off really good, as you can see. It was super humid there in the woods, which makes the water vapor from the blaster extra visible. Needless to say, Dennis was pretty impressed with how easily the paint was being removed. Dustless blasting brings the truck to a white metal finish, which will be perfect for repainting once all the contaminants and chlorides are removed, which we'll take care of in one of the last steps. Notice that we've masked off any parts of the windows that might get hit directly during blasting. Chrome will also be ruined by blasting and should either be removed or masked off. In this case, Dennis was planning to rhino line the entire truck, so he didn't care about protecting the chrome. After Zack has finished one side of the truck, Dennis gives in to the urge to try it himself. At first, Dennis is holding the hose a little too far from the nozzle, which doesn't give him much control. He's also hitting the truck straight on. Hitting the paint at an angle is more efficient. After a short time, Dennis starts to get the hang of it. Now that he's hitting it at an angle, he's scraping the paint off rather than just pounding it off. You can see some of the Bondo he uncovers, and he's able to leave it intact by not lingering on it for very long. Dennis was only planning on blasting a small area, but he later told us that he was having fun. He ended up blasting the whole side of the truck. Ah, ah. Zack starts to finish the rest of the truck, and you can see again how much more efficient it is to hit the paint at an angle rather than straight on. It also helps keep the water vapor blowing away from you instead of back at you.
After they've finished the truck, it's time to remove all the chlorides from the metal to prevent flash rust. They do this by rinsing the truck with a mixture of hold tight and water using the pneumatic high volume water pump which all of our mobile machines feature. Finally, we blow off any standing water so that the truck can air dry. Once the truck is dry, it'll be ready for primer or paint. Job. If you have any questions about our equipment, give us a call or visit dustlessblasting.com.